Ask the guy next to you, do you know the Holy Spirit? And if you don't know him and he's not with you, it means he is a Holy Spirit. He is not an unclean spirit. And he's not the spirit of people of an unclean mouth or an unclean heart or unclean hands. He is not dwelling with unclean people. Today he was some of my friends. And he said, I should send the people out in mission work. And that, that, that. I said to him, who must I send? I said to him, who's living godly lives? Show me I will send him. Because there's a gospel that's been preached. Jesus said, you know we believe we should lead people to Jesus, then they are saved. They are not saved when we lead them to Jesus. They are becoming saved when we make disciples of them. And I cannot go walk and walk around and lead people to Jesus and not making disciples of them. Jesus did not say, go and make converts in Matthew 28. He said, go to all the nations of the earth and make disciples of them. And teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And I confronted him as well. I said, when you came to Jesus, there was cost to be counted. You promised Jesus when you came to Jesus that you will deny yourself and leave your old ways behind. Because Jesus said, don't follow me if you didn't count the cost. What is the cost? It's going to take you your whole life. You're going to get rid of your whole old life. I said to him, who do you think must I send? I asked him, must I send you? Jesus said, if anyone want to follow me, he must deny himself. Say to God, we are not making converts. It is religious people who make converts, and I'm not religious. Jesus said in Matthew 28, go to all the nations. Say to God, listen, all the nations and make them disciples, make disciples of them, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach them everything I have commanded you. Teach them everything. They should keep that. If I meet a person and I ask him, do you want to accept Jesus? But he doesn't want to deny his old life. I will not lead him to Jesus. Because my Jesus is not cheap, friend. My Jesus is not cheap. I don't lead anyone to Jesus that doesn't want to pay the price and lay down his old life. I don't try to fill heaven with a lot of people who'd love Egypt and love their worldly ways. We want to make disciples so that heaven really can be filled. Give God a hand. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you what, what happens when people did not deny their lives. They go to Malawi, Mozambique. They go and preach there. They preach. But remember, it's not what you preach what people pick up, but your spirit that they pick up. And you go and send people to Malawi or Mozambique, and they got marriage problem. And the people that side will pick up marriage problem. They won't pick up what you preach, they will pick up what you love. There's very few that find the narrow gate and very few on the narrow road. Many are on the broad road. There's few that find the narrow gate and few that you find on the narrow road. Many pretenders and lookalikes are on the broad road that lead to destruction. That's why Jesus said to the Pharisees when they get to come to be baptized. He said, you hypocrites. Who told you you can escape the fires of hell? Because he knew their lifestyles. He said, rather go and produce fruit that suits repentance. 
Seth needs to listen to me. Go and produce fruit that suits repentance. Seth needs to the narrow road. Few find it. And few are on that road. But the broad road is many pretenders, many lookalikes that is on that road. Amen. Satan needs to, people do not listen to what you preach. Or rather say, they listen to what you preach, but they do not pick up what you preach. They pick up what you live. That's why it says in the Bible, Jesus said about the, the Jews who go, Pharisees, the hypocrites, the Pharisees, who go over land and sea and make one convert and make them twice the son of hell as they are. Yeah. You're not you. <laughs> My Jesus is not cheap. Give him a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.